competed and we fought. And then the second half, actually the middle of the, towards the end of the third end, the fourth quarter, we were having trouble scoring. What, what did you think of the shots you guys were able to get during those 18 or so minutes? Well, I know the one, the, there was a good section. We were getting good looking threes. And I think even on the one possession, we had three, three wide open threes on offensive rebounds. And, and then some bad ones. And then the turnovers, turnovers throughout the game, I thought, uh, bothered us. Uh, turnovers, missed shots, a few bad shots. Uh, gave our offense uh, struggles in that, you know, the middle of the third going into the fourth. Hey, Russ, um, what happened to your guys' offense there in the second half? Was there something that the Raptors did differently um, to adjust coming out of halftime? No, I thought we actually started off pretty well in the second half. Um, had a big lead, made the right plays. Um, you know, sometimes still make the right plays, shots don't fall, they made a little adjustment, but Nothing um, drastic. And when your offense is playing the way it has the last few games, um, what does that do to you know the the cause of trying to limit mistakes? Does it feel like you have uh, less room for error to make mistakes like turnovers and, and bad possessions and that sort of thing? Um, it just really depends on how the game is going. Uh, the game will always tell you what you need to do. Fred. Hey, Russ. Um, I just kind of, I, 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 this isn't as related to the game, but I was curious to get your perspective on, on Denny's, uh, kind of evolution throughout the season and, and kind of how you've seen, uh, what you've seen him improve on and, and what you think he needs to be focusing on mostly. Uh, you know, it's, it's his first year and he's figuring it out. It's a different year for everybody, especially for him. Um, and he's gotten better as the season goes along. That's all you can ask of him, um, is to make sure that he's improving. As the season goes along, figuring out what's best for him and his body. Um, he's been doing a hell of a job of doing that. Ava. Russ, you guys were getting uh, really good minutes from Bertans and Matthews, especially early on. What was looking different on the offense that they were able to capitalize on, or were they just kind of hitting their shots? Um, yeah, I think that's about it. They were just hitting open shots. You know, the defense has to collapse. Um, and then those guys are knocked down shooters when their feet are set and then, you know, they made shots. And when you play more and more games without a guy like Brad on the floor and now obviously Rui's off the floor, what is it like? Obviously it's very difficult when you have to do everything on every possession with fewer guys, but do you almost get used to more used to playing without them? Like what's that kind of balance of? Um, you're gonna figure it out. I think, um, you know, no team is going to feel sorry for us. So we always got to figure it out, uh, especially to me, just figure out, try to read the game, make the right decisions. Uh, at least try to, won't always make the right decisions, but as long as my effort and energy in the right place, then I can live with the results. Thanks, Russ. Neil. Hey, Russ, you spoke to Garrison and Davies getting off to a good start, but they only had four shots. Uh, in the second half, what's the key to getting them more involved consistently throughout the game? Yeah, I don't know. You know, DB's on the mini restriction. Um, you know, Garrison didn't play that much in the second half, as much as he did. So I'm not sure, man. Uh, you know, they get shots when the ball gets to them, and uh, we continue to make the play um, as the game goes along. But we're not running around trying to find, get them open shots. Uh, so whenever they get their shots, they get them, and then they'll shoot them. Hey, Denny, um, obviously they were able to lock down defensively there in the fourth quarter. Is there something that the Raptors did different defensively? Um, I thought they, they were more aggressive some in the fourth quarter, but I think it, it's more, uh, I, think, I think we, we, um, we just settled. I think uh, we stopped being aggressive and getting to the rim and uh, it affected us. We miss, we, we, everybody missed some shots and they went on a, on a run and fourth. And uh, yeah, we were, we were a little bit, uh, it wasn't there as we were defensively in the end. Um, but what can you do? 
And uh, what was it like for you guarding uh, Pascal Siakam? You, it seems like you spent a good amount of time on him tonight. I felt good. Um, as I said, um, I'm coming in, competing, taking a challenge every night. Um, for me, to guard the best player is an honor of the other team. And um, I'm really fighting, trying to help the team close down the, the best players. Um, and I'll keep doing that. Keep doing that. Fred. Hey, Denny. Um, I was I was just curious to get kind of a more, not necessarily related to tonight, but just the whole season in general. Where do you feel like you're at right now in terms of playmaking, uh, handling with the ball, making decisions within the rhythm of an offense, you know, at the NBA level? I feel like um, I'm improving. I feel like um, uh, the teammates and coaches trust me more on, on playmaking and creating for others. Me, myself, I love I love creating for others. I'm always going to make that extra pass, that that, uh, that good pass to, to another teammate to make a shot for me. That's my game. That's, that's how I grew up playing. And uh, that's how, that's how, uh, that's my game style. And I won't change. That's me. I love playing together. I love moving the ball. I love sharing it. And as many touches as I can get and as many chances as I can get um, uh, playmates and uh, helping my teammates good, have easy shots. It's um, better for me. I, I actually enjoy it. So one of the things that constantly gets brought up, not just about you, but every rookie this year is that you guys didn't have summer league, you had a short training camp, you don't have many practices, all, all that kind of stuff in order to acclimate. Um, what are you doing to make up for that so that you don't feel like you're missing out on as much stuff as, as you might actually be? From, from the beginning, I didn't have no excuses, you know? Um, I felt like, all right, I didn't play a lot of games, I didn't practice a lot, but um, I know myself and the, the, the coaches do a really good job with, with me understanding the system and understanding like uh, uh, the NBA um, rules and game style. And then I feel like every game, I'm just understanding things way better and it's going to keep improving. So they, they do a great job, uh, even my teammates to support me sometimes, uh, even though sometimes I have bad games. Um, and just everybody in general is, is very, um, they want me to succeed and, and I respect it and it helps me uh, regard of me not having a summer league. You know, I feel, I feel like I'm fitting uh, pretty well, helping the team uh, as, as much as I can with, with the things I know are good. And uh, that's about it. Neil. Can you turn that yellow a little bit? Uh, yellow. You have the yellow option. Hey, Denny. Uh... The past five games, you've had 44 rebounds, um, which has just been, you know, most in your early stretch so far. Is there been anything that has led to that that you've tried to do, make it a uh, point of emphasis or anything like that? Um, yeah, I've, I've been trying to be more aggressive. Uh, I feel like I'm a good rebounder. I can rebound the ball and I can I can help my teammates sometimes or when they when they need me coming from behind and grabbing it, and, and that's why I do. Um, you know, it's, it's all a part of being more aggressive and just wanted to help the team as much as I can. So. And when you get some of those defensive rebounds, we've seen that you have the ability to, you know, just get it and go, try and see what's available. What's all of the different things that are going through your mind that you're trying to calculate, okay, whether you can push it further, whether you need to just pass it and give it up to Russ or different things like that? It's all game reads, man. It's part of the game. Um, sometimes I feel like, pushing the ball and sometimes I'll bring up, give it to Russ and he'll organize the offense. You know, this is part of the game. It's just the read and, and that's what I do. And sometimes I will push it and sometimes I won't. 